Hi, fourth grade art students. Welcome to our virtual art class. I'm actually in my home studio um, at a drawing table. Hopefully you have a, a nice creative spot in your house to um, do your art. Today we're going to um, work on St. Basil's Cathedral, so I'm just gonna get you started on it um, with some ideas. So we're not gonna draw the whole thing. But I have actually, um, you might be able to see, I've sketched out really, really lightly um, just sort of an outline. So this is um, a view of, of St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow, Russia. It is a Russian Orthodox Church and it is so iconic um, of Russia and um, is unlike anything else really in the in the country. So it's something that they're uh, very, very proud of. It is actually nine separate buildings built around each other. Um, with this very tall tower in the middle. So I want you to use it as inspiration. Um, the, onion, the onion domes are what it's known for, um, the bulbous towers, um, lots and lots of detailed uh, possibilities here. So um, what you're gonna wanna do is, is uh, start with one of the, the onion towers. And I, I think starting off with this um, blue and white one is a really good idea. So what you're thinking is sketching, okay? Um, sketch it, see if you can get that, that um, bulbous shape, right? Okay, once you like it, you know, maybe um, smooth it out, but we're gonna go over this in waterproof um, a fine line waterproof pen, um, a Sharpie, or this is actually a Uniball, whatever you have on hand. Um, just make sure that it is waterproof because we're going to fill in uh, all these colors with watercolor. Okay, so once you get um, your first um, shape in, notice that um, these are rounded. We are looking up at the cathedral so these appear rounded. Actually, they're, um, you can make them angular if you want. Just really notice the architectural details as you draw. Okay, so we're, we're not gonna add in the details yet, but how about if we do another one, the one that looks like a pineapple. Okay, give it its rounded base. And then again, um, sketching, okay. See if you can make it symmetrical on both sides, whatever you're, so it's almost as if it's a heart. If you continued this on, and if it's easier for you to make a heart, that may be a really good way to get that roundedness. Okay, obviously we're not gonna keep that part, but um, that might help you. And then um, all of them are so cool, they, they top off, here and they have a um, a little column and a ball at the top. So this one too, a little column and a ball at the top. All right, so now, now we have two in there. Um, there's another one that's be, sort of behind it, okay? And this one is sort of bumpy and it has a really neat spiral that is um, different from the ones, the two that we've started with, okay? Um, so again, put the bottom on it and then get the spiral in there. Uh, start over here and just bring it around, okay? Bring it around. So play with it and draw lightly, okay? We're gonna sketch these out first before you ever put ink on it. And this one um, actually has it starts off really skinny up here. So if you just draw in the white areas, kind of goes like this, it gets bigger at the bottom. And then this way is like another, okay. Another white area. So think, look at, Use your eye, look at the details, and then take go to your paper and try to make it look like it, okay? I like that green and yellow one, so um, I'm gonna put that one over here. So make the rounded base, 
and that going way out and then up to a point. And then mine's going off the edge of the paper and that's totally okay, okay? Um, this one, it looks like an ice cream cone, I think. Okay, as if it came out of an ice cream cone machine, okay? So just have fun with it. And if it's stylized and it doesn't look just like it, that is okay. We, that we are using this as inspiration, okay? What about that tall tower? Okay, I put it back here. So these are like columns. If you want to use, you know, your rulers as we come down off of this, that's fine. Um, but I think almost just knowing that, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna go up and down <laughs> um, along your paper. And I'm actually using an entire piece, um, 12 by 18 paper that you um, had come home with you. So um, just to be able to have enough room to, to fill in each of the cathedral details. So basically it has, you know, I, I actually made this one more angular. I, I, I feel like that I notice it more on this one, okay? So coming from your, what you've got here, then think about a gentle slope, right? That is going up, coming down to the edge, so try to get it so that this is right over your column, okay? And then, oh, there are so many borders. Have fun, okay? This is another little area here, and then there's another onion at the top of that, and it is golden. So that'll be fun to decide how we want to. Now, um, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna, I'm gonna um, actually, do some pen work on some of this um, after I t tell you about a little bit more of how to add detail. I'm going to pen some of it in and then do some watercolor. But you could also do some of your details with colored pencils. That um, Some of these things are so super tiny. Um, and is it, it is also okay if you want to make it just a line drawing and then only watercolor the background. So. You have choices, okay? You're, you're gonna be the artist here and um, use your ideas, okay? So let's, let's come over here and make this one darker. And there's that little, right? Put the ball on the top. Okay, so we have four onion domes. Now we need to have the columns. They need to come down, right? Now, if you want to, use your ruler and just come down from what you've done with the, the domes, okay? Come down some and then they're going to bow out again and add a whole bunch more details, right? So um, you can either use your ruler like that or you can just eye it. You decide. I guess we need to make this one darker over here too, don't we, okay? And then you're gonna add in all of the borders. Let's get this side in, okay? You're gonna add in all of those, um, they're basically like stripes that you're gonna add details in, okay? And remember, they're, they're slightly rounded. Okay, so if you look at these columns, there's like, this one is a larger area. This one's a larger area. It's bigger than the top column, okay? This one actually kind of bows out gently. And this one the same, okay? Um, if we do this tower, I guess I only did part of it. <laughs> All right, bring that down, and we're and there's an area here we can add, okay? Um, you notice that there's um, some lines that are that are running um, down from that tower there, okay? So. Sketch out your columns and then, oh, I have another one of a, like a small tower, okay, in here. I actually don't think it, it's behind a tree, so I'm imagining it there. 
and then I'm gonna imagining another one over here. So here's where you use your imagination. You decide where you want these towers to be and how many you want, okay? Um, all right, I'm coming down, down, down. So see how these are bigger, bigger, bigger. This one actually bows out, same here. So I'm getting some initial lines in and I keep, and I actually, <laughs> I fit a little onion right in here, in this little space here, I couldn't resist. Um, okay, coming down, spiral. Okay, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to ink now. Um, I've sort of, and you may wanna add a whole lot more details before you do this. But um, I'm going to show you how um, to do some details like that pineapple effect, okay? So sometimes if you do the top and the bottom, then it's easier to just sort of make that nice organic line slowly. Okay. And then let's go ahead and put that little on tower on the top with a ball. Okay, so this pineapple shape starts off with a diamond in the middle that's large, okay? And then, so it, it is actually, these are gonna be bigger down here and then get tinier up here. They're also going to get tinier around the edges because this is rounded, okay? So you want to do parallel diamonds. So this is something I sketched out first <laughs> in pencil, okay? So that's now, that's right in the front. Now we're going to get start getting smaller, but do you see how... So the lines are gonna get smaller. It's as if you, so, you know, you're coming around the edges. So have fun with that. Um, this, is, this is the most detailed one of all. Okay, see how they're getting smaller and smaller. Okay, smaller, smaller. So you're giving the illusion, or actually you're just looking at the picture and trying to make it look like that, but the, it's making, it's giving this a rounded effect, right? Okay, these are getting a little smaller now over here. So you can just keep building diamonds now, smaller, smaller, and then when you, um, <laughs> um, actually draw or paint these in or just leave them as a line design that's also a choice okay if you ha have so many details and you're like oh I love just the white look because you're going to erase all of your pencil lines all of your sketching lines you'll erase carefully okay so so you get an idea of how, how to design some of these towers. This one, um, do you have to do them all spiral? No, you can make up your own design. Use, use St. Basil's Cathedral as um, inspiration, okay? It does not have to look just like it. I think it's so cool. I tried to make mine um, as much as I could. Um, some of them look okay so do you get the idea it sort of looks like it's going like this um let's do an area like um on this one it has these wonderful scallops okay so it has three I, that I see, and then it has these rounded insides and then you can add so many more details Okay, so bringing it down from the, from the onion dome, okay, so I'm going to do the bottom of the dome and the top of the dome, 
and then I'm going to do that nice, slow, rounded shape, right? Okay, like this. So then you're going to you're going to do all those details in there. I see um, some tall triangles in there. I see um, long, skinny windows. So um, think about making you know, parallel lines and centering your details in the middle of the towers because that's what makes this cathedral um, so fascinating and beautiful. Um, it just, it looks like a, it, 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 <laughs> um, somebody just used all of their imagination. Now, I don't like that window. I made it way too big. So what I might do um, and I did it in pen, is to maybe do an inner part, okay? And then maybe I add um, something that's bigger over here, okay? This is how you fix a creative mistake that you didn't mean to make. And maybe I do the same thing here. Okay. So some of these things I'm actually drawing with pen first, and that's, that's fine. Okay, now, if we bring this one down, let's just go ahead and finish this one. Think about coming straight down, and then there are all kinds of details in there. I've, I've sketched some of them in, but one of them that I like is kind of a, like this. So remember, anything that you're filling in is going to follow along that slight curve because you're looking up at this cathedral. So everything appears slightly um, concave or convex, I'm not sure which one that would be. Um, okay, this one has, so if you're drawing along with me, um, you might wanna watch this a couple of times, but this one also has scallops, and I hope you can see some of my drawing. This one I like um, because the scallops at the bottom then have more scallops in between. So that's neat, okay? And then again, and then maybe there's another line another set okay so use your imagination goodness this is going to be so fun and I'm, I'm going to watercolor it in um, this also has teeny tiny um, windows and these towers are huge um, so these windows aren't so tiny when you're if you're up in this tower um, let's let's add in this fun detail okay It has like this white, okay, and then it has um, the blue. So I'm, I'm just doing the white insets. I'm actually looking at the picture as I'm drawing, okay. And you see how they're mirroring the sides and there, there's maybe one more skinnier one here. So they're thinner the closer you get to the sides. And again, that gives the feeling of it being rounded. And then another skinny one. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that little spire on the top with the ball. And there actually, if you notice, there is a tall spiral on the top of these, okay? All right, so I've kind of just, you know, the first thing I did was to block out the different towers. This one is fascinating. Um, it actually has, if you really wanna get super detailed on this tower, and actually make this one more uh, geometric, which, a lot of these are, it has a, an area that bumps out there. Okay, so then it has this 
on the lip. Um, it has more scallops. One, two, three, two, and then a big one. And then these are sort of more squashed over here because they're on the edge, right? So you, it's okay to make them appear like they're, um, they're smaller than what you did here. Um, there's actually these lines, but if you want to give the detail of the ridges, that would be really neat. So you could make diamonds like this and then do the lines in between. Okay. And then you're giving the appearance of it being like that, or um, you could bump out from your line. So there's so many ways of giving um, the appearance of <laughs> all the details. Okay, so a couple different ways there. All right, so if you're gonna use, um, if you're gonna leave it a, a line drawing, that's fine. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wash around the edge. Here, let me go ahead and fill that in. Um, and fill in the sky, right? Um, but if you're going to take these wonderful colors and fill in your cathedral and the sky, um, you know, you can you can use different colors, but I I really love um, how beautiful this is. Um, I have a pretty large brush here, but let's just say now, obviously, before I start painting, I would want to um, erase all my pencil lines, but just for the video's sake, um, what you're doing with the paintbrush is you're drawing again, okay? Outline the edges of your lines. Now this blue comes all the way up, okay? And you're gonna, and then come around the other line, okay? And then fill it in. And then the same on the other side. So you're leaving those white spaces, okay? Um, Think about, let me use a smaller paintbrush here. Okay, so I have two different kinds. This would be perfect for the sky. Think about um, the fact that on the edges, it would be darker and maybe lighter in here. Oh, see, now I started off with a lot of paint on my brush, so that didn't work out. Maybe I go back into the water. I don't wanna get too much water because it'll go over the my lines. Um, but just think about um, drawing your lines again, outlining it, okay? So I have a couple different colors of blue here, but I, I like it when there's a darker color a along the lines and maybe on the inside it's not so, um, not so dark. So that gives you an idea, okay? That's that blue and light and, and white one. Um, you know, just have fun with that. Leave leave the white there. Um, what about the green and the and the yellow one? Now, if you've got a um, a pan that where you can mix colors, if you want to um, just use colors straight out of your pan, that's fine. But if you want it to be um, less bright, that that yellow is not really yellow. It's kind of a, a less bright. Um, now, I don't even have pen here yet. Now look, that is a blue-green. That's not really the same color, but isn't it pretty? Maybe I'll keep it. Or maybe I go into more of a grassy green and I come over it and I make it. A, a, okay, so you can mix colors with watercolor. The key is not adding too much water, okay? And what I would do when I, after I'm done painting, I would come back in with a white color pencil and I would add the highlights. See how there's highlights right here where the, where the sun is hitting that? It's a rounded area, so it's going to, so I would put some highlights in. 
everywhere where um, it, it is a nice smooth area, okay, um, I would add in highlights. Um, you may have to mix um, colors to get that beautiful terracotta. Um, I think we've tried to get that color before. It's, it's orange with a little bit of, I would try maybe a little bit of um, the, the complementary color of blue, but and maybe brown, brown. So you know, play with that. But what? Let's see what happens if I just do it in brown. Okay, that's pretty. What happens if I add? Go back in and get a little bit of a golden yellow. Okay, you play around and think about what you would like to do. But that's how you can mix colors in here. Um, there's actually another color brown. I don't know how many, how many different colors you have, but that's a totally different color brown. Okay, maybe I add a little bit more of that golden yellow now to that. So whatever you end up with, okay, those are totally two totally different kinds of browns. Um, um, will be wonderful. Now there are lots of white elements, so you know you're going to go back in. I want you to add as much detail as you possibly can. Okay, so you're going to go back in to some of these places, and you're going to add. Uh, it's almost like gingerbread, you know, adding all of these little these little details. Okay. Um, you don't need to make all these different colors if you end up water coloring. Um, but, you know, you can add in um, these green. There are green, little green details. Again, um, some of them might be so small you might want to use colored pencils. Um, and you know my favorites are the Prismacolors, but any of them will do. I love the look of watercolor. So, um, all right, let's talk about sky. All right. Um, and then you're going to be off and running with this project. You're going to want to do wet on wet. Okay, let's go along this tower. So I am on the outside. So you can see a little bit of, of light blue because my water um, is light blue. So make sure that you change your water out um, when it starts to get a color as you, you know, go back in. So let's just say that um, I am doing all of this, you know, wash. Okay, I'm getting it all wet so that when I, and not a, not the entire paper, you're not going to be able to paint that all at once. So that when you go back in and you add like a light blue for sky, I still would come along here and then I would come out from it. Okay. And you... Um, skies are usually, okay, let's add a little bit more water. Skies are, so see, it's going to be, um, we probably needed to have a little bit more wetness, okay. Um, try to get some atmosphere going, right? Um, it's okay to leave some white, but you want to have, um, I don't have a, enough of a light blue. My blue is pretty vivid. Okay. The point is, is that you want to make sure that your water is going right up to your lines, but not going over. Because your tower is going to be that pretty, that really pretty, you know, terracotta or brown or whatever you come up with. And if you leave all of this white and, and gorgeous, you know, like this, um, with whatever line designs you come up with and fill in, and then you just do this beautiful sky, um, that will be wonderful too. So um, thinking about, um, you know, adding, adding tons of detail. Um, if you have a metallic gold uh, marker, <laughs> this is the perfect time to use that. Or a metallic... Um, colored pencil in there because you're not going to be able to get that look with, um, let's see if I've got one right handy here. And anyway, you're going to want to um, draw that in and again, see the sheen, all right? 
So going back in with a colored pencil and, and um, with that white color pencil and going over your gold, right, you know, giving it a highlight. Um, so I hope that that has given you enough ideas. Um, there, there are so many different things that you can do. For instance, this one here has some really cool, like, um, bumps on it. So you could go out, right? However you want to do it. Maybe you do it on both sides, okay? And um, those are, those. that one is the red and green one, okay? <laughs> well, that got kind of wonky. Better to do it in pencil first. <laughs> All right. I hope you have a wonderful time with this. And um, again, you know, you use your you use your artistic um, ability to fill in all the details. And if you've got all of your pen work done and you think, I just want to keep it white, then do it. But if you want to fill it in with color, it's going to be beautiful either way. Okay. So um, excited to see your artwork and hope to see you soon.